Hi folks, this is question 12. So the first part, we just have to add up the two boxes that are underneath. So uh, I'm gonna add up one and five there and that will give me six. So I put that in the one that's above those two then. So that's six. And then in order to get the next one, I'm gonna do minus one plus six. So minus one plus six is five. And you could double check that in calculator if you're not sure. And then I'm gonna do six plus eight, that gives me 14. To give, to give me that box and then 5 plus 14 is 19 so that's all then for the part a part b asks us to do something similar but now there's algebra involved in it so i have to do 1 plus x plus 3 so the biggest thing to remember here is that you can't add numbers and x's together so you can only add the 1 to the 3 there and that'll give you 4 but then the x is still there so we get x plus 4 for that one so in order to get this box here then I'm going to do you have to add the X's and the numbers separately so the X plus X gives us 2x and then minus 3 plus 4 will give me plus 1 so positive 1 so 2x plus 1 then the other side X plus 2x would give me 3x and 4 plus 4 would give me 8 and then the top box, I'm going to do 2x plus 3x, that's 5x, and 1 plus 8, that gives me 9. So we just have to keep them separate each time. You can't add it, something with x beside it to just a normal number. There is one value of x that will make both of them the same. So what you could do is, there's different ways of doing it, but if I just take this box here, or pick any box in it, and I look at the same, exactly the same box in the other one up here. That that's minus two in that in that one. Therefore, I know that x minus four has to be equal to minus two. So I can write that down. So if x minus 4 is equal to minus 2 then I could just move the minus 4 across the other side or just think about it, x has to be equal to 2 there because 2 minus 4 is equal to minus 2. So the final answer is x is equal to 2. And that's it then for that question.